this idea of build yourself up and become this best version of yourself, the best version of you. That's where it all came from. So build yourself up in the city of you. I'm Jimmy Bruce, president of Eastern Gateway Community College. We're proud to sponsor this thought-provoking interview series with community leaders who through perseverance and determination are being who they want to be and making a difference in the Mahoning Valley. R.J. Thompson, Assistant Professor at YSU of Graphic and Interactive Design, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Glad I think I here. should also say award winner for the City of You. What does it mean to you to have recently won the Ohio Governor's Award in the Arts? Uh, so the this just hit me like a freight train. Uh, I'm just flabbergasted. I mean, I'm, I'm very uh, thankful and, and, and humbled by, by the nomination and those that nominated me and, you know, the, the, this accolade being presented to myself and, you know, I see it as myself and Youngstown, you know. Uh, it's just, it's been, it's, been, uh, it's been crazy and crazy good. It's, it's been a wonderful experience and I'm just so thankful. And you also were recently nominated for a Kennedy Center Citizen Artist Fellowship. That yes. has got to be a huge honor. You yeah. know, uh, it's been a very active past few weeks. Um, so to get the Governor's Award in the Arts and then this Kennedy Center nomination, it's been unreal. Um, I never thought I would be in this place doing these things, let alone getting nominated to do these for these types of projects. So I'd assume most people are familiar with the City of You campaign, but for those who aren't, just kind of tell us what exactly it is and how you came up with it. So the City of You is a community development and economic development uh, program where we're trying to access the, the folks that live, work, play, learn, and ultimately thrive in Youngstown and get them to tell their stories, feel empowered to share their Youngstown experience and what they're doing to progress the city forward. And um, by telling those stories, we're, we're communicating the, the, the soul and the identity of Youngstown is not what everyone feels that it is or thinks that it is from the outside. Uh, so we want to attract new business. We want to attract, you know, students to the universities, um, and you know, we want to have people buy houses and set up shop here and really dig in and invest their time and their resources into making this community better. Um, and the best way to do that is to learn about them and understand who they are, what they do, what their passions are, and just exactly how they can make an impact in this city. The, the city itself actually adopted it as their branding and, and, and marketing plan. Yes. Did they solicit you to do this or, or what prompted you? So the City of You actually kind of happened by accident. In 2014, the uh, City of Youngstown and Youngstown State University received a uh, I believe it was a $250,000 Economic Development Administration grant to explore the, the marketing opportunities and develop marketing strategies to, uh, to grow business here in the city of Youngstown. And uh, as the director of Youngstown Design Works, which is an elite level student run graphic design agency, we were tasked with creating this publication. And um, after having looked at it, I determined that, okay, we're making a book on marketing strategies but there's no, there's no design marketing behind it. So how can we produce a publication that, you know, isn't marketing itself? So this led to the creation of, of the, the City of You. Um, and the City of You concept in and of itself actually uh, came to fruition in February 2015. Uh, my wife was pregnant with our daughter at the time and we were, um, at a, uh, a clinic very early on a Saturday morning in the middle of winter and my wife was getting some gestational diabetes testing done and you know I was maybe I was under caffeinated or I was feeling rather <laughs> sentimental but um, I realized that you know I've been able to do some amazing things in Youngstown in a very short amount of time and I depend on the people here to help my dreams become reality and you know, fortunately, my goals have been very compatible with folks that, that live, work, and thrive here. And um, so there's been this common experience and, and, a, and a general or genuine collaborative spirit to make these things reality. So really, uh, 
this city thrives and grows based on the people that live in, inside of it. And, and, you know, I was thinking about, you know, my daughter's life is dependent on my wife's health and these things just kind of worked in together. And, you know, uh, you know, I was going to be a first time father. So this idea of what kind of father are you going to be? What kind of man are you going to be after, you know, my child gets here? Um, I had this very specific idea of who I was going to be. And this builds into this, the, the idea of self-concept. So we're always working towards fulfilling our self-concept. That's why we're in school. That's why we work or change jobs, build careers. And, you know, building yourself up is a core part of, of who we are, I think, as, as humans. Um, and that is woven into the, to the fabric of Youngstown's identity. Everyone here works hard and fights hard for what they have. And um, <clears throat> this idea of build yourself up and become this best version of yourself, the best version of you, that's where it all came from. So build yourself up in the city of you. And that's kind of the tagline that kicked it all off. And it really, um, in some ways, is so obvious because there's yeah. you, right, in Youngstown. Yeah. In the other way, so ingenious. And was it really just one of those things where it popped into your head? Yeah, it was an, a, it was an epiphany type yeah. of moment. It just, it made sense. The beauty is in the simplicity. And if it's simple, then more people can understand it. It has a general appeal. Uh, you don't have to fight to figure it out. It's just intuitive and it just clicked into place. You don't live in Youngstown. You work here. You live in Pittsburgh. Yes. Did that have any impact, do you think, on you coming up with this? In other words, uh, a lot of times when you're growing up here or living and working here, you may not really see what the city is. You right. may not really appreciate it, whereas someone coming from the outside might be able to see it with almost a little more clarity. I would say that because I don't live here, my objectivity is a strength, mm -hmm. um, but it also helps me see um, the best in people and place and also the worst, but also the best in the worst, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So um, I really take a, a very optimistic, positive approach to all of the work that I do here. Um, and all of the people that I've interacted with over the past several years, my students, uh, yourself, other collaborators, like everyone's working together. And the, that, that collaborative spirit is really unique. You don't get that in other places. So when I encountered with people that, oh, my, my students, for example, that, that live here and you know they're always down on the city or they're down in the community that they grew up in, I say, you know, I've been able to do some really great things in a very short amount of time. I would never be able to do this in Pittsburgh where I live. I just would never be able to do it. Or, um, you know, for example, if I were given the opportunity to rebrand Pittsburgh, I wouldn't stand a chance. There'd be too many politics, too many people involved, too many competitors. Um, and ultimately, the, the collaborative spirit is a little bit different there. Um, you know, Pittsburgh's progression is vastly ahead of, of Youngstown's. And, you know, we're still we're still fighting and fighting hard for what we have and what we're getting. And being in that is certainly more exciting than being in a position where they already have what they need. You told me uh, earlier that you thought Youngstown was a magical place. Is that what you mean by that or? Yeah, I absolutely believe that. And um, I enjoy my time here. I enjoy the people uh, of all walks of life, of all spectrums. Um, it could be as simple as walking down the road, saying hello to someone, or um, you know, really getting into the fine details of a collaboration. Uh, it could even be as simple as uh, when I go to a, like a restaurant. Uh, people know me and they say hello. I'm just like, oh gosh, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but hello, let's have a conversation. So everyone's very approachable, very friendly. Um, and we all want to work together and, you know, harnessing that when you have it uh, transforms projects, transforms ideals and ultimately outcomes and successes. So I share this award, um, you know, with, with my friends here, my family, uh, my collaborators, everybody. I'm Jimmy Bruce, president of Eastern Gateway Community College. We're proud to sponsor this thought-provoking interview series with community leaders who through perseverance and determination are being who they want to be and making a difference in the Mahoning Valley.